I am dedicating this word of encouragement to women. As a woman, you need to know that God has an amazing plan for your life. No matter how the world has chosen to see you, know that God's plan for your life is very much alive. But our culture talks a lot about what it means to be a woman. And with each generation, we seem to constantly redefine what womanhood is and how women should function in that role. But the church has played a large part in fighting against unbiblical definitions of womanhood. And in God's word, we see the incredible way women were used by God, which we need to always remember. The first woman I would like to mention is Rahab. By faith, Rahab the prostitute did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 31. Rahab comes to mind because on paper she seemed to be a nobody. People despised her because of her profession. But when she heard what God did to the Israelites and the other surrounding countries, she put her faith in him. She didn't accept her current title. She was tired of the way her life was going. So when the spies came to spy out the land, that was her opportunity. She stepped out in faith to do something she had never done before and hid the spies from the enemy. And because of that, we see her name mentioned as one of the heroes of faith. Before the men lay down, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan to Sihon and Og, whom you devoted to destruction. And as soon as we heard it, our hearts melted and there was no spirit left in any man because of you. For the Lord, your God, he is God in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that, as I have dealt kindly with you, you also will deal kindly with my father's house, and give me a sure sign that you will save alive my father and mother, my brothers and sisters, and all who belong to them, and deliver our lives from death. Joshua chapter 2 verses 8 to 13. You may have a checkered past and you think that God can't use you, but as we read Rahab's story, we know that is not true. God can turn your ugly into something beautiful. He can and will use you if you put your trust in Him. Rahab's story is not over because we see her name mentioned in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 1 verse 5. Women in the Bible have played influential and transformative roles for centuries. Although many stories have not been widely shared, there are incredible women who followed God with courage, boldness, and conviction. Despite the cultural and social limitations that women faced, they chose to trust God and follow where God led them. So don't let the world define who you are and what your place should be in society. And we see this truth on display in the life of Esther. She had no parents but only her uncle Mordecai who took her as his own daughter. Esther chapter 2 verse 7. But even though she was an orphan, God had an amazing plan for her life and used her greatly to save her people. After she was promoted to be queen, there was a man named Haman who hated the Jews and planned to wipe them all out. But Esther had an opportunity to save her people. And this is the challenge and warning her uncle Mordecai gave her. 
Then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther, Do not think to yourself that in the king's palace you will escape any more than all the other Jews. For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Esther chapter 4 verses 13 to 14 And sure enough, Esther saved her people from Haman and accomplished what God had called her to do. God loves you and cares for you. He has an amazing purpose for your life. And even though you have lived most of your life been belittled or put aside, it's time to rise up and walk in the calling God has on your life. It's time to put aside the negative labels you have been given in the past and take up what God says about you. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Remember that as a woman, you were created in God's image. You are not less important than man. God made both man and woman in his image, and because of that, our value is the same. Don't allow the enemy to tell you otherwise. You were made in his image to be loved by him and to have fellowship with him. You are meant to reflect his character and likeness to represent his true nature. God's calling on your life is sure. Step out in faith and receive what God has promised for you and throw down the labels people have put on you and make sure that the only labels you are holding on to are from God. You are his precious daughter. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, on behalf of the men, I pray for the women who are listening to this word who feel like they are not enough, who feel like they are worthless. Help them to see how valuable they are. Help them see who they are in your eyes. Reveal the amazing plans you have for them because in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, you declare that the plans you have for them are good and not evil. Forgive us men who have not encouraged the women in our lives. We have not protected them the way we should. We have not walked with them the way we should. May we step up and take responsibility to support, encourage, protect, and believe in what God is doing in their lives. May the words we speak to them and about them build them up. I ask you to break through for your daughters. Lord, we lift up every woman who is reading or hearing these words, knowing that you see each one intimately, that you know her deepest desires, fears, and struggles. We thank you for your word that reminds us of the remarkable women who have gone before us who stepped out in faith despite their circumstances and who trusted in your promises. Today, we choose to reject the negative labels that have been placed upon us and to embrace the truth of your word. Help us, Lord, to see ourselves as you see us, beloved daughters, chosen and cherished by you. Empower us to walk boldly in the calling you have placed on our lives, to live out our faith with courage and conviction, just as Rahab and Esther did. Father, we pray for strength and perseverance in the face of adversity. May your Holy Spirit embolden us to stand firm in our convictions, to speak truth with grace, and to love others with your unconditional love. Help us to trust in your timing and your plans, even when we cannot see the way forward. 
we lift up any woman who is struggling today. Whether she is battling feelings of inadequacy, facing difficult circumstances, or wrestling with doubts and fears, comfort her, Lord, and remind her of your steadfast love. Surround her with your peace that surpasses all understanding and fill her with your hope and joy. Lord, we thank you for the promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us, that you are always with us, guiding and sustaining us. May your presence be palpable in our lives, filling us with your strength and courage to fulfill the purpose you have for us. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen.